Hello there, I'm Rex Proctor. In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to import multiple movie angles into a collection and synchronize them so they show the same thing at the same time. So right clicking in the left hand sidebar, which is our files list, I'm going to create a new folder for this project. This makes it highly portable. Everything that I'm creating is going to be saved inside of this folder. And you know this because the disclosure triangle to the left of the folder name is red, indicating that it is the focus folder. Let's split up our view, creating a movie on top and a timeline on the bottom. I'm going to navigate to my movies and I'll import the first one. And when I drag and drop it onto the collection, it's going to prompt me to create a new angle. You'll notice here that this first angle gets assigned an ID of number one. This is the index number for the angle and also shows you what keyboard shortcut you can press to flick to that angle. Let's drag in our second one. Now if I drop in a file or an angle on top of an existing angle, it will ask you to either create a new angle or you can have the option to append that onto the back of the existing angle. This allows you to drag and drop multiple files and just sort of concatenate or append those, putting them together so that they'll play in sequence as you drop them in. Here we're going to create a new angle. And now you can see that that index is number two. So if I press two, it's going to flick to that angle. Pressing two again will retreat showing all the angles. So you can flick one, two, one, two like that. Let's drag in our third angle. And let's arrange these like this. If I hold Option and I click and drag, I can grab the angle from the center of it and I can move it around, holding down Option. If I click and drag from any of the corners, I can then adjust the size of those angles. So underneath the Arrange menu, we have Adjust Start Time Offsets. And this allows us to slip the movies uh, according to their start time so we can align them. Now we're going to use our broadcast here as our kind of key to, uh, to indicate which uh, angle we're going to synchronize from. So let's get that right to where he's just kicking the ball here, swinging through and right there. Okay, if I hover over these angles and I scroll up and down, I can zoom and if I hold shift, I can pan. So this makes it really handy for synchronizing. So we're going to adjust this start time to push down a little bit further. And you can see as I'm adding time to it, the ball is moving backward because it's adjusting against the video above. And let's zoom in here. And I'm going to pan a little bit. And again, I'm guessing looking at the ball movement that we want to go positively. Okay, so those all look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that sync point. And now all I need to do is just close the controls and that is now saved. So it's very easy to synchronize. And don't forget to link your movie. When you link the movie, the timeline will automatically be named after the movie collection, which is a nice little convenient um, feature. And I also should let you know that each angle can uh, be titled which you may want to go through that and title all of those because when you do movie exports, it will use those names in the file name that it exports, which can be really handy.